afternoon uh, and welcome to today's PE lesson. Um, in today's PE lesson you are going to need either three tennis balls okay or three bean bags okay if you have something that's similar maybe you know a juggling ball or three uh, you'll need those or um, I don't know what's similar to a bean bag but you'll need three of whatever it is but you need to be able to hold them in your hand and at least be able to hold two in one of your hands because we are going to learn okay uh, how to juggle so first thing that I want you to do get one ball okay something you've done before we're just going to throw it up in the air slightly higher than head height and we're going to cross over hand or throw it to our other hand we're going to keep doing that just for a minute the temptation when we're juggling will just be to start throwing the ball up and then low okay into our hand to, to swap it over but actually when we're juggling the ball goes up in the air and just swaps sides each time okay now we're going to use two balls okay what we're going to do is we're going to throw one ball up and when that ball is at its highest point we're going to throw the other ball from our other hand and we're going to swap over as well okay so we're going to go up and then we're going to wait and then throw so we're going to go up so that the reason why we wait until it sits at highest point before we throw is so that when that ball is in the air we can concentrate on the one that we're catching before the other one starts to come down and we get to catch both of them at the same time okay or not at the same time one after the other so we're just going to practice that a few more times so throwing them up and swapping them over okay so throwing them up swapping them over okay we'll get comfortable with that Okay, before we introduce our third ball. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to need to number our balls, and that's why I've got the bean bags. Okay, you might want, if you've got three different coloured balls or three different coloured bean bags, even better. So I've got, okay, one red and yellow stripy one, a blue bean bag, and a green bean bag. Okay. I'm going to hold the blue and the green bean bag in my left hand and I'm going to hold the blue bean bag in my right hand. No, I'll swap them over. Blue and green in my left hand, yellow and red in my right hand. Blue is going to be number one, green is going to be number three and yellow and red is going to be number two. And that's the order that I'm going to throw them in. I'm going to throw number one, number two, and then number three. This is where it starts to get tr tricky and probably a lot more of the uh, bean bags or tennis balls are going to fall on the floor. So, okay, we need to hold our t bean bags or tennis balls separately. Okay, remember we're going to go one, two, three. Okay, it doesn't matter, okay, if we drop them, okay, because we're just practicing, okay, and we're trying to learn a new skill. So it's absolutely fine to make mistakes. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three. Okay, so I was able to catch two of them. Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna put them back into my starting order. Okay, so one, oop. one, two, three. Okay, so I've got them, so they've swapped hands now. Okay, so I'm on the way to start looking a little bit like I'm juggling. Okay, we'll go again. Okay, so that was slightly better again, so I've managed to swap them over and then swap them back. So I'd call that two rounds. Okay, we're gonna give it another go. And this time, okay, I'm just gonna see how long I can do it for. Okay, and keep those uh, bean bags in the air. Okay, so that was probably my best effort so far. I'm gonna try it now with the tennis balls. It's, I find it slightly easier. Okay, because they're slightly smaller, they don't bend in your hands as much, but whatever works for you is great. So, three tennis balls, okay. The green one, number one. My orange and green tennis ball is gonna be number three, and then my yellower tennis ball is gonna be number two. Okay, so you're gonna see how many I can do now. One, maybe a half if I'm lucky. This is something that you can do, okay, if you just got five spare minutes. 
you can just give yourself a practice, learn the idea, the technique, okay, and see how, how, how long it takes you to learn. It can be a really, work, really good, fun skill to learn, okay, and eventually, you know, hopefully you'll get onto four or five tennis balls, but it does help if you've got slightly bigger hands. Um, give it a go, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you soon.